both the coaches and the media uh, kind of agreed. Um, and you can base it off of last year. Now the new the, the new teams really make it where you just don't know. Uh, it's hard to judge how you know Central Oklahoma, Lindenwood, Tahlequah, and, and Carney are going to be. You anticipate them being good, um, but you just don't know till you play them. You know, you always try to build off of last year. I hope it gives uh, our kids some confidence. Uh, I think that they're motivated to, 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 you know, to make that playoff round again and, and, and move on. Um, uh, you know, we don't play some teams that uh, were, were difficult games for us last year, uh, which is good and bad. Uh, but, you know, hopefully maybe if we, if we play well enough, we'll play those teams at the end of the season, which would be great. Um, but I think our kids uh, are at the point, uh, particularly the seniors, that hey, they want to. They felt like we were real close last year, and they, they want to improve on last year's performance. Thursday we'll practice, and we'll go mornings. Try to stay out of the heat a little bit. Plus, we try to, you know, get the most important part of the day finished uh, or, or right away so you don't have to worry about the weather and things like that and then uh, basically our schedule even though we only practice once uh, pretty much you have the kids active throughout the day you know we'll practice and meet and do some type of condition you know strength and conditioning keeps them fresh uh, but for, for about 10 days is what we call camp we'll try to be pretty active for those 10 days. We had great seniors last year, and, and uh, even watched you know Brian Folkert's play on the in the Hall of Fame game last night, which was really cool. Uh, but yeah, quarterbacks obviously a big position to fill. Mitch Bueller and Joel Piper are two that we anticipate filling that position, and they'll they'll compete probably throughout the season. Uh, you know, you're going to start somebody and play, but I think they both deserve to play and see what they can do. Um, but I think it's it's more of a will operate from talent at that position. They're, they're good players. I, I anticipate our O-line being good. Uh, Steve Dickhouse will lead the charge there. Kyle Duncan will be an outstanding player there also. Um, on the defensive front, I anticipate you know Cameron Jackson being a real leader uh, and, and really helping us out there after being injured last year. And then our two linebackers, Bryce Atagi and uh, Jamil Taylor, uh, you know, really being key players for us. Uh, but really, we have some really good seniors on on that defensive front uh, that, that, you know, should be uh, a strength of our team.